So today I am going to make kind of embellished ankle straps that you can put on any shoe. Um, a lot of you had a great response to the pom removable pom-pom DIY um, that you love that it could be removable. So I thought, at first I really wanted to make these so that they were attached to a shoe. And I decided, you know what, it might be better to just make them so that they can be on any shoe and it doesn't have to be only on one pair of shoes. So if you wanna go ahead and make it so that it's attached to a particular shoe, by all means, I'm just gonna make these so that you can kind of wear them almost like an anklet and you can put them over any ankle strap on a shoe or even if the shoe doesn't have an ankle strap, this can act as an ankle strap and you can just kind of like spruce up kind of any shoe in your closet. I saw this DIY on an Instagram account that I follow, Layla Style, I believe that's how you say it. Um, and she had just DIY'd these ankle straps for her shoes. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a cool idea. I think I want to try it. So that's where the inspiration came from. And all you need is some glue, scissors, pliers for the gems that you're going to need. I got actual like kind of rhinestone gems and I got flat back pearls. So we're going to alternate the two. And then I got on sew on snaps. I always, I never know what things are called, so I have to read it. But I got on sew on snaps to put on this, this little, this has a little stretch to it. It doesn't really have, it's like really hard to stretch though, so it's not really relevant. Um, the girl that I bought these from at Joanne's Fabric, this trim from at Joanne's Fabric said that she uses this a lot for like bikini, like inside bikini, like the strap. Um, so I guess that's what it's used for, but any like black, thick trim that you can buy, you're gonna use, and that's gonna be to wrap around your ankle, and then you're gonna use the on snaps to kind of snap them on together. So you can snap them on, snap them off. All right guys, I'm excited for this DIY. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is measure your ankle. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure, oh, this is my ankle. I'm gonna measure, I have no, I had shoes on, slippers. <laughs> oh my gosh, is this TMI right now? So I'm gonna measure my ankle right now. And what I'm gonna do is measure exactly, exactly to the T how much I need, right? So I know right here is how much I need to get it around my ankle, right here. What I'm gonna do is just add about the width of this little snap add that on so it's about like half an inch I'm just gonna add that little bit on there to the length and then I'm going to cut it so I'm eyeballing it you can go ahead and measure it if you want we all know how I feel about that then I'm gonna go ahead and do measure the first one to the second one so then I just have both ankle straps ready to go. I have really tiny ankles apparently, because this looks really tiny. Like this doesn't look like it should wrap around your ankle, right? Oh my gosh, that looks small. Did I measure wrong? I'm scared. Nope, we're all good kids. We're all good kids. <laughs> so this is what you need. All right, so we're gonna get started with this one. So the very first thing you wanna do is to sew on the snapback buttons. You want to do this first because it's going to get a little complicated once the jewels are on. So you just want to get this out of the way. There's easier ways you can do this. Um, this is actually going to take the longest out of all the steps is sewing this on because it's so tedious. It's just like little holes you have to sew into. But if you want to just use velcro you can do that or you can use like they have the velcro circles and you just put the circle on and put it on that way you could do a hook and eye there's different ways you can um have this come together but um for me that was the easiest way was to just use the snapback to just kind of make sure that they're on secure and the best ways to sew them on so for this before i go and sew it what are you going to sew one side on this side and then one side on the opposite back side so when you flip it over you can button it together so make sure you don't put them on the same side because um, then they won't button 
So I'm gonna go ahead and sew this on as fast as I can, and then we'll move on to the next step. I'm using a hook needle, because for me that's easier when you're trying to get into small holes. That's just my personal preference. You can use a regular needle if that's all you have. Oh, normally I would just do the first one side and then the second side, but I'm just gonna do the second side right now to show you real quick how it's gonna button together and then fast forward through the rest. <laughs> Now that that's on, I'm just gonna cut off the extra stringlings hanging out that aren't invited to the party. And then I just wanna show you how it works. So see how there's one on this side and there's one on the opposite side. So whatever side you put one on, you put the others on the opposite side so that when you flip it to close, I'll show you that by the way. When you flip it to close, Voila, it buttons right on, it buttons right off. So that's how you're gonna put them on and off. Easy peasy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the buttons and then add on the pearls and the rhinestones. And I bought two packs, so this is one pack of each right now, one pack of flat back pearls, one pack of gems. So you're gonna need one pack of each for each strap to get enough. And then what I'm gonna do is just, oh my gosh, that's funny. I'm just going to put the jewels and the, and the pearls on in just alternating patterns until I create some sort of design. The first and the second shoe are not going to look the same. But there's just gonna be pearls and jewels everywhere that it won't matter. So it will look the same, but it just won't necessarily be the placed in the same exact way because these pearls and um, these pearls I really like because they're all different sizes. It's gonna give the shoe a little more interest. Alright, I'm gonna start gluing. I'm gonna get my little glue pad out. Love this. I like to use a little E6000. Like you wonder why they sell the little one and the big one. I like to use a little one because for these little projects because the big one can be a little aggressive and this one is just easy. Little, it's easy. But the little ones go by really fast, so that's a con. So I'm going to just start gluing on. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a different view so you can kind of really see what I'm doing. do like a bracelet with this too or like a choker it's all the measurements that determine what you use it for so it's kind of cool because it's versatile I love it all right guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and if you try it as always I want to see it see you guys next time
Thank <laughs> you.